looks like a meal I could eat at any Chinese restaurant. We have a crunch from the spring roll and we have the freshness of the pak choy. I'm just hoping that they find it to be authentic. What we have done tonight is three courses basically. On our main side we have honey and soy marinated duck with uh, egg fried rice. Then to wash that down we've prepared a vegetarian Asian style broth and then finally a vegetable spring roll with a nice uh, sweet and sour chili dipping sauce and uh, bok choy done in garlic and ginger. You can tuck in. Chef Song, what do you think of the presentation? I feel the bowl is too big for this uh, sauce bowl. For the dipping sauce? The dipping sauce, yeah. It's too big. I taste spice. Okay, but there's some ginger inside, quite fresh with the vegetables. It's quite nice. The spring roll, for well, mine, a little bit on the burnt side. It was a bit of the uh, crispy burntness. The taste is a bit bland for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, relying too heavily on the dipping sauce, and, and the dipping sauce is playing too much of a hero, and the spring roll is supposed to be the hero. Correct, yeah. yeah. Should we try some of the broth? Yeah. Well, I'm going to check on Andrew's table. You guys just had the spring roll. What are your thoughts on it? The spring roll, it must be full. Yes. You never half full a spring roll. No. So, so because tight. then it collapses. Yes. So when you pull it tight from both ends, you roll it strongly, it must be round. Mm. It will never be flat like that. Owen. Yeah. Uh, tell us what you thought of the broth. The, the, the appearance of it at first, it did look like a vegetable broth. I was expecting some vegetables, and that's why I, I went down and I, uh, I dished up a couple of times just to make sure I wasn't leaving anything behind. But the first thing that, that came to my taste buds was the shock of the sourness. Chef Song, what did you think of the broth? So we have the garnish and some type of mushroom, a bit of chilean vegetables. Could be much better. Yeah. Sherry, what did you think of the duck? Uh, the sauce is pretty good. Nice and sweet. It was overwhelming. Yes. My taste buds just, yeah. Chef Song, have you tried the duck? Yeah, duck is quite, it's quite good. It's quite tangy flavor. It's, it's, it's meat is all tender. I like duck. Uh, I liked it that they kept a bit of the fat on the duck there. It goes nicely with the meat, so the meat's not too dry. It was enjoyable. Can we move on to the duck? Can we ask Mr. Lee? He did try the duck. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Lee is saying that the flavor and the way the duck is being cooked is very nice. The flavor is good. And it's very tender. Yes. Absolutely. That's a big and plus. The texture of the duck is moist. Yes. yes. And, and that's, the, that's where also the understanding of balance comes in. 100%. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the red team is about to serve. I really just hope they like it. I really do. I think that we have crunch, texture, and depth of flavor in our dishes. Yeah. Today we had a lot of fun cooking with duck, and um, one of our dishes is a sweet chili with sesame duck topped with wonton crisps. The other bit is a duck neck, which is honey, ginger, and soy sauce. That's served with our black fried rice. We've also got two veg dishes, beans and cauliflower, with some soy sauce and a bit of chili in there. And then we've got black sesame seed and cabbage. Hope you all enjoy. Please, enjoy. Okay guys, I can see that you've already tasted all the dishes that are on the table. Now it's time to break it down. This is far more a following of the brief. It's a duck dish with garnish. Mm. 
as opposed to three courses, which the soup and the spring rolls were. So this makes more sense, especially for us to eat it as we would, as you would do with an Asian stomach. You'd eat all the elements together on the plate because that's it's a duck dish. So this makes sense how they've served it. Yeah. I have never eaten the the, the black rice um, uh, before as a as a main course. Yeah. Uh, normally as a as a dessert in that. Uh, that normally is done as a pudding, like as a, a like pudding, a creamy a dessert. Pudding, yes, yeah. So you mix it in. The the appearance wasn't quite Asian enough for me, mm -hmm. but the flavors and the wonderful textures are mixed together, and and eating it as a whole meal, you know, it worked for me. Mm -hmm. The duck neck for me, it was a bit too rubbery, like it was hard to chew on, like it wasn't cooked properly. Chef Song, what did, what is your impression of the duck? I think in general, um, one of the dish I feel is quite good, mm -hmm. tasting is very good. It's uh, honey ginger mm -hmm. duck. The idea is quite good. You get something crispy, and especially this duck, very tasty. If it's this in the restaurant, I will buy it. Yep. Hi, guys. So what are your thoughts? I love the look. As soon as they put the dishes down, my eyes went big, and I thought, wow, this is really good-looking food. He's saying that um, the rice and the duck and the two accompanying vegetables is a good complement to each other. To me, it's a lot of cliché. Why must Chinese food be covered with deep-fried wonton skin? I never cook eat Chinese food like that. Why is something nice like a Chinese cabbage lightly stir-fried and you must put some black sesame seeds to destroy it? Unfortunately, my favorite duck neck is undercooked. As it stands, for a team to win, you need four votes. We need one more vote to win this challenge. Blue team, so you still need two more votes to win this challenge. Chef Song, it's your time to vote. And the red lantern goes on. It's four votes for the red team. That means the red team is our winner for this challenge. Congratulations, red team. Feels really awesome to win another team challenge with Comedy and Ozzy. So far, we're three for zero. Our distinguished guests, on behalf of ourselves and our contestants, we would really like to thank you for taking part in our challenge here today. It's been an honor being able to dine with you all. I'm stoked to have made it to the top six. Whatever happens tomorrow, I'll be ecstatic either way. I said something previously at the Yaya Village, how the caliber of food that you guys deliver made me proud to want to invite guests to share food at our table. And today, I wish I had never uttered those words. The food that you presented today was abysmal. The broth, I have tasted more fragrant seawater, burnt spring rolls. I don't care what you thought they tasted like. You insult our guests by serving that garbage and to serve almost raw duck necks. Today, as far as I'm concerned, you are all losers. It's top six and that's embarrassing. You guys need to concentrate. You need to make sure that plate of food is the best plate of food you have ever served in your life. You need to get your game back on. We need the A game of this top six in MasterChef. I agree with them, and I actually really appreciate their honesty. 